Hello, for this problem we've got member ABC uh, which is being supported by a pin joint down at A uh, by a cable at B and it's supporting a weight of 300 kilograms uh, from C. So we are asked to determine all forces acting on member ABC. Uh, we're going to have the gravity force here, we're going to have a tension force on the cable, and we're going to have X and Y components of a force down here uh, at the base. Um, so this is an extended body equilibrium problem, uh, and step one in our equilibrium problems is going to be to draw our free body diagram just as normal. And so for the free body diagram, I'm going to draw member ABC uh, and start drawing in the forces. Um, so I've got point A down here, point B, and point C. Uh, at point A, I've got the pin joint. So I've got an unknown force in the y direction, unknown force in the x direction. Uh, I'm going to label this one FAX, and I guess I should label my axes as well. So this will be x, this will be y, so FAY. Alright, I've got a tension force at B, so T is just going to be my label there. Um, and I've got a gravity force, Fg, acting at the end. And so this gravity force, Fg, uh, is going to be the weight of this weight of this mass here. So 300 kilograms times 9.81 uh, newtons per kilogram. And I got a weight, Fg, of 2,943 newtons. All right, so <clears throat> now I have all the forces drawn in. I'm also going to draw in some helpful dimensions. So I know this whole thing is six meters long, uh, and point B is in the center here. Uh, so it is three meters up to point B, another three meters from point B out to point C. Uh, also, I can draw in some angles, so FAX, FAY, FG, they're all either horizontal or, perpen or sorry, horizontal or vertical, um, but this tension force is at a 45 degree angle, uh, which is going to be perpendicular to the actual beam itself right there. And so I'm just going to draw in uh, that right angle there. All right, so now I can start drawing out my uh, equations of equilibrium. So that's going to be sum of forces in the x, sum of forces in the y, and the sum of moments, and we'll pick a point when we get to there. All right, so in the x direction, I have Fax. That's just directly in the x direction. Um, and I'm going to have the negative x component of my tension. And so... <clears throat> This is 90 degrees from the beam itself and 45 degrees from horizontal. So this is going to be minus T cosine 45. Uh, and that's all my X components. So that's equal to zero. All right, in the Y direction, I have FAY. Um, and I'm going to have the vertical component of this tension. So uh, it's plus T sine of 45. Uh, and then I take off the gravity force. And so this one I know is 2,943 newtons. That's equal to zero. <coughs> and the last one is going to be the moment. Um, so I need to choose the point I'm going to take the moment about. Since FAX and FAY are de both down here at point A, that seems like a good spot. That way, tension is the only uh, unknown force exerting a moment about that point. So about point A, I need to figure out the moment due to the tension force. And so the tension force is perpendicular to the beam itself. And so my perpendicular distance is 3 meters. And the magnitude of the tension is just T. Uh, and that's going to be, I'm going to use my right-hand rule and I can see that that is a positive moment. It's going, going to cause a counterclockwise rotation. So 3 times t. 
Uh, and then I need to figure out the moment exerted by this gravity force out here. And so that's going to be a negative moment using my right hand rule. Um, it's a clockwise, it would cause a clockwise rotation. So it's negative, and the magnitude of my force is 2,943 newtons. And the perpendicular distance, if I were to draw this down here, it would be this part of my triangle down here. So this is going to be um, 6 times the cosine of 45. And that whole thing is equal to zero. All right, so moving on from here, I just need to solve my equations for the unknowns. So start with a new sheet. First thing, the easiest one to do is actually my, my bottom equation for the moment. Uh, the only unknown is this tension force, so I can solve for that. Uh, and that tension force, if I rearrange the equation, T is going to be equal to 2,943 times 6 cosine 45 all over 3. If I solve that, plug in the numbers, I get the tension force is equal to 4,162 newtons. That's one of my three unknown forces. Now I need to find FAX, FAY. Um, and I can do that by plugging in this value for T to the sum of forces in the X, sum of forces in the Y equations. So FAX, rearranging uh, this top equation here, uh, FAX is going to be equal to um, T times the cosine of 45, uh, which if I plug in this number here, um, it's going to give me uh, FAX is equal to 2,943 newtons. Alright, so there's FAX, FAY. I'm going to do plug in my value for T into this sum of forces in the Y equation uh, and solve for FAY. If I do that, I get FAY. Let's kind of rearrange this. Uh, is going to be equal to the tension force, or sorry, no, the FAX minus the tension force times sine of 45. All right, so FAX is this 2,943 that goes in here. Tension force goes in here. Uh, and FAY turns out to be zero. So there is no force in the y direction at that pin joint in this particular case. Uh, so with that, I've solved for my three unknown forces. Uh, I've got values for uh, the tension, FAX, FAY, which is here, here, and here, respectively. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.